All right, guys. So a couple weeks ago, I bought this van. Maybe it was a couple months ago now already. And I promised that uh, I was gonna try to get into this, this uh, little center console here, right? It's stuck, right? So when I bought this van, here, I'm just gonna move my stuff so I can sit in here while I talk to you. All right, so when I bought this van, the guy I bought it from said he had never gotten into this center console. It was stuck when he got it. So I think what's supposed to happen is, see this little lever thing? I think this is the thing that's supposed to like open it, right? But it's, it's stuck. So, I mean, I don't know what's actually kind of causing it to be stuck, but uh, in any case, we're gonna get in there today. So I brought my hatchet. <laughs> this kind of a, a weapon or a tool is called a hatchet and we're gonna we're gonna try to break in there so what do you think is gonna be in there let me know in the comments what do you think would be in there wouldn't that be sweet if there was like a million dollars in there even if there was like 10 bucks I'd take that but uh, what do you think you think there might be something bad in there it might be like a dead rat in some in there or something like that but anyway I mean this van is pretty old as you can see it's uh seen better days but uh it drives pretty nice actually I like the way it I mean it doesn't it doesn't inspire confidence at all if something inspires confidence that means you are confident in it but if it does not inspire confidence that means it's <laughs> You're just always kind of hoping and praying that it's not gonna kill you so every time I get in this van I kind of hope for the best that it's not gonna be the death of me so all right guys well let's grab our hatchet here the reason I came out to uh, just kind of a quiet place like this here is because uh, it'd be weird if some people were walking by and they saw a guy with a hatchet <laughs> trying to get just imagine like seeing a hatchet someone like kind of bent over in their car and like hacking something you'd think you think they were murdering someone although this would be the van to do that in look at that all that space for storing the dead bodies so yeah but uh, that's not what I'm doing so I wonder if I can put my GoPro if I should prop up my camera or if I should just hold it well let's just uh, <laughs> let me just hold my camera and we'll see oh look at that and oh I re reason I was gonna mention I am wearing safety goggles because I don't want a piece of metal to like or a piece of whatever to come flying up into my eyes so all right let's try to oh that's stuck guys that is man. That is like, <laughs> it's stuck. How on earth can I get in there? Man, I think it's like, if I can just kind of pry it open maybe. This is what it means to pry. If you put something underneath something and then you kind of lift, you lift up, that's called prying. So I'm just gonna try to pry it open here. Come on, you can see there's like a little gap there, right? Mm, come on, wow, that's, guys, that's stuck. I don't even know what's holding, what is actually preventing it from opening? Oh man, that is weird. Come on, open you stupid freaking thing. Guys, it's not opening. That's a strong latch. There's, there's something like. <sighs> Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in here. This is crazy.
I thought for sure it would. I wish I could just at least feel under there, but I can't get my fingers under there to see what's actually holding it down. <sighs> Man, this could be something. Some kind of a latch. See, we can get it up to that point. I just gotta like get my hatchet. Come on. It's hard to do this with one hand. if anybody tried to get in here before come on you can put my GoPro down here and uh, use two hands but then you can't really see what I'm doing oh, someone's trying to message me Just put my camera over here that way uh, can you still see me? All right. Come on. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is not safe. Hey, I see something in there, guys. Looks like some papers or something. So I've got it, I'll show you. I'll show you where I have it so far. I've got it like that open. There's something, it's like the latch is in there, but I don't know what is, what's the opening mechanism? I don't know, I don't want to pinch my fingers in there. Have you ever done anything like this in life? Maybe you have some words of wisdom for me. I've never done anything like this, guys, opening a secret hatch in the van. But uh, we're getting close, like, this is hard work. It's exercise. Didn't wake up this morning thinking I'd be doing this kind of exercise today. Come on. Okay. What is holding that thing down? What on earth, guys? You can see here, it looks like there's kind of like a... I, I can't really see that very well. Is that a key? Is that a spot for a key? I think that's that's a spot for a key. And I think this is a, like a safe. Man, that is crazy. I wonder if any of my keys would work in there. But yeah, that's that must be why I can't get in there because yeah. Let me try one of my keys, guys. Nope, doesn't fit in there. What about this one? Nope, that's too big. With that one, nope. Yeah, it's like a special kind of a key. You can kind of see in there, right? It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's so hard to know exactly how that is supposed to open. But I think it's I think it's only supposed to open with the key, I guess. Because that like like that lever thing doesn't work at all. Probably not doing anything to help the resale value of this van. The resale value means what you get if you sell it, you know. Usually when you buy cars the resale value goes down immediately, especially if you buy new cars, right? They say when you drive your new car off the lot, it loses like, I don't know, is it 20% of its value? I think as soon as you own it, right? That's why people don't like to buy new cars. But this van, it doesn't have any value to begin with. <laughs> so I'm not too concerned about the value. Uh, I'm just too concerned about getting in there. I wonder if there's some way I can like, I should have brought my screwdriver or something to get in that way. Cause guys, this isn't, uh, this isn't, like I needed something to actually like cut the metal. Cause that lock, it's like, it's actually metal. It's just like, like I don't think the lock is the weakest part of the, this thing. I think it's, uh, 
I think the lock might even be the strongest part of this thing. Give me some tips. Man, that is one heck of a console. I wonder if Dodge built that into this thing. This is a Dodge Caravan, 2006 Dodge Caravan. And uh, what do you think? Like, does that come with part of the, I mean, why would that even be in here? Have you ever had a car with a center console that locked? I mean, this is like a courier van, right? It's uh, it's it's made for people who, you know, want to move stuff and I don't know, do a bunch of stuff. But like, what what would the purpose of that be? To have a have like a a, a lockable thing in there? I don't know. It's like a safe, right? Like, yeah, that's one heck of a lock. I'll tell you that much. Come on! Hope I don't end up hurting myself, guys. This is, uh, kind of feels like it's kind of dangerous. Almost feels like I'm kind of going on a treasure hunt or something, you know, trying to find some lost treasure. Yeah, it's. I wonder if I should go from the other side and try to rip the other side up. Or if I should just try to like destroy it from the back here. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Guys, you're not giving me enough tips. I need more tips. Um, can you see me or is the sun too bright back there? So I think like, see, I have access to the lock. I just, uh, but I don't think like my fingers, it's not like a latch that you can just kind of like flip, you know, I think you need the key because it's kind of like an internal mechanism there in the... <laughs> what a day. What a day. Like, yeah, I can see it says there like there are some papers in there but i don't think there's any i can't see any money in there guys you guys getting bored yet you can't even see me properly i don't want to put my camera there it's hard to find a way to put my camera because it's uh got the seat there and uh oh there we go i can lift up the armrest and you can see me better <clears throat> see that lock no wonder I couldn't get it open and there's no it doesn't look like there's any connection between this piece and the uh, <laughs> lock so I don't even know what this thing is for this is such a weird thing guys such a weird contraption but we're gonna get in here if it's the last thing I do <clears throat> Well, guys, I think the best shot we have is just to kind of peel back this top piece as best as we can and then stick our hand in there, get enough, have enough space to actually like stick my hand down there, you know, so I basically need to peel back this piece, this top piece here, somehow. <laughs> making progress guys I just don't want to hurt myself you know I don't, want something, I don't want the metal or the hatchet to come up fly up and hit me in the face or something but you know what's the craziest thing you've done in your life <laughs> have you ever found like a hidden treasure or like a secret room or something something kind of exciting about these things eh it just kind of gives you that feeling of excitement. 
like you're doing something something kind of adventurous I wish I had a different kind of a tool I, I wish I had like something I can like a crowbar you know what a crowbar is that would be that would be the perfect tool in a time in a time like this Ugh. come on <clears throat> There's enough space for it to actually put my camera in there, guys. So this is what's in there. Uh, you can see some old papers, some dusty old documents in there. Should I reach my hand in there? I think there's going to be some like crazy animal that's going to like bite my hand off. Hmm. Well, guys. Let's reach my, reach my hand. Oh, I can't get my hand all the way down in there. Let's see if my left hand can fit in there. Uh, just enough space to... See. Papers, guys. Courier, for courier documents. Oh, wow. Guys, there's a bag down there. Looks like some wet wipes or something. Oh. Hmm. Got some baby wipes. Nice, nice surprise. What else is down there? Oh. It's kind of tight for... Get my hand in there, guys. Oh. <laughs> my hand doesn't fit all the way down in there uh, but um, I want to make sure I get right to the bottom you know because there might be some money under those papers that would be awesome maybe I should get it with my hatchet so I can get the papers up with my hatchet this is my exercise for the day I'm trying to kind of loosen the papers with the hatchet Make them easier to grab. All right. Oh, look at this, guys. Ooh, we got some more papers here. Wow. Let's see what we have down there. Guys, I'm not seeing any signs of any money. That really sucks. Let me see if I can get my hand in there to grab the other papers. Guys, I want to get every last thing out of there. So we're going to try to stick the hatchet down there again. And, uh... I'm going to try to... Lift it up. So I can grab them a little bit easier. Okay. I'm just going to prop up my GoPro here again. Papers. I'm gonna go for another round of fishing, paper fishing. Okay, there we go. More papers. More papers. Guys, we're almost, I think we're almost got all the papers out of here. Almost there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Still haven't killed myself yet. More papers. Come on, is there no money in here? Not even a single dollar. Gotta be at least a loony in here to make me happy. All that work for nothing. More papers. I don't think there's any cash in there. Oh, what a letdown. Another paper. Okay, guys, I think that's all the... Here, time to take a look. All right, tell me, guys, what's in there? I don't think there's anything in there. Let me get my flashlight on my phone. Shine the flashlight in there to... Uh... There's like a 
a little cloth down there, but that's it. Oh. <sighs> what a disappointment. Well, that was anticlimactic. That was anticlimactic, guys. Do you know what anticlimactic means? Anticlimactic means if you're excited about something, if get out of the wind here. If you're uh, if you're excited about something and something it, it could be exciting, I'm sweating, guys. But if it turns out to not be exciting, then it's anticlimactic, you know. So that was kind of anticlimactic. We were, I, you know, in my mind, I'd built it up to such a, a big thing, you know, what's in there. It's turned out to be a bunch of useless papers. That was anticlimactic. Let me know in the comments, what's something in, in your life that you've experienced that was anticlimactic? Well, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for going on this adventure, this uh, treasure hunt with me. Turned out to be no treasure. But uh, you know what? There was treasure, because I get to spend some time with you. That guy, that's the real treasure, guys. So thank you for being my treasure. Thanks for uh, all your support and all your kindness to me. I really appreciate it. Well, I guess I can go home so my neighbors don't see me with my hacking away in my van. You know, yep, nobody will think I'm a murderer now. My my cargo space is still empty. No dead bodies in there. So guys, that's it. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, let me know your adventure stories down in the comments. I'd love to read them. All right, as always, I love you so much. And I will see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.